Hi there, James here, welcome to another video. I've teamed up with Scale Mafia to bring you a series of model kit reviews each month, starting with this Vesta T34-76 from 1943 and 1-35th scale. So here we have the package of the boxes, you can see some fantastic artwork. It's a brand new tooling which is really good and Vesta have done a really fantastic job of uh, pulling through all the various bits of details, in particular the road wheels apparently, which I'm really looking forward to see. It does share a few parts from a previous model they released last year in 2018, the T3485, the but overall the majority of the kit is brand new. So let's see what's inside. So as I said, Svesta has released a brand new tooling of this kit and they've done a really good job of showcasing some of their new tooling techniques. Um, and particularly the road wheels apparently have got really, really good details. So I want to pay particular attention to those. The kit does share a few parts from the T3485 that was released in 2018, but overall the majority of the kit is brand spanky new. So you can see here the various parts of the kit, Soviet medium tank model 1943 Ural Mash T34-76, it's in its uh, snowy configuration with a couple of troopers behind it, it's supposed to here, let's have a look on the side. A few more kits of the range. Soviet heavy tank, German Panzer, and another medium tank. Oh, it's a T3485 that we just talked about. On the side, a bit more information. Just shows what's included in the kits. You get some decals, we'll have a look at those in a bit. Various paint schemes, hopefully the instructions will say what's in, what we need. And a bit more information, it's 19.4 centimeters long, so 303 parts. And on the reverse, you can see here, both in Russian and in English, in more, more information about the T34. There's not a lot of decals on this one, you can see in its uh, green camouflage colour, but it's going to look very impressive nonetheless. So let's have a look. So it's an extremely sturdy cardboard box here. Ta da! So let's have a look. Alright, so I'll look at the instructions first before moving on to anything else. Nice clear instruction manual, various languages, make sure it's easy for you to understand, complete parts list as you can see here. So yes, construction begins with the suspension, moving on to some of the sprockets and springs here, and that all gets fixed onto the side panels for the road wheels, and it fixes up into a bit of a tub, which is good. There's the road wheels, to get drive sprockets and road wheels and cogs here, looking really, really exciting. Multi-part tracks, so that'd be quite good to see how those all come together. Some of the turret details, various hatches, front fenders, machine gun mount by the looks of it, putting the tracks on at the end, and put the road wheels on. Fixing various panels onto the stern, putting the turret on top of the main hull. It's a one piece bow, which is quite good, that all fits together in an assembly here and then attaches to the front of the turret. Put the plate on, seal it all up. Machine gun, a few more bits and pieces, various tools and bits of spare track. Some boxes, you get a bit of vinyl mesh on this engine cover piece which is quite a good bit of detail, a bit of storage, a few more boxes here and this sort of start bolting everything on. It's got a few uh, clear plastic parts as well which is quite good so presumably these headlights where are they here and a few other bits and pieces over the cockpit and the driver's bay probably oh there they are. There will be nice clear parts and a few more boxes at the end and a tow rope which I think is where we made out a bit of a string. So let's have a look. Usual says Vesta Information piece, not much to say on that. There's the clear pieces, keep them nice and safe. And there's the final mesh and a bit of string, and a few of the decals on the back. Very nice, either white or the red, they look quite good standing out in the green. Color scheme, so you can have a snow white version, which would be quite nice, or the green that's on the back of the artwork. So enough of that, let's see what's inside. So again, as I say, it's all very nicely packaged up. We've got a few sprues. Let's see what's inside. I'm sure the camera is going to go haywire trying to have a look at all of these. 
So we get one, two, three. Oh god, crikey! Good dozen or so, maybe a bit more sprue. So here's the first sprue you can see here. So you've got some of the detail parts. That's where the vinyl mesh will go. It'll be the front of the main cannon. Okay, the fenders, the main turret, a bit more of the detail where the vinyl will go, and there's some of the details of the wheels. Next, the actual road wheels themselves. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five of those. I think, yeah, you get five of those. There you go. So I'll add a few close up shots so you can see what's inside those. So here's a bit of the detail of these brand new tooling road wheels. You can see the quality looks absolutely first rate. Plenty of rivet marks, details, plenty of opportunity to get some wash in there, a bit of a pin wash and weather these fellas up, which should be really good. Next up we have two sprues, identical sprues of the tracks. There's some quite good detail on these. I'm always going to be mindful of how the flat track presumably goes on the top and the bottom of the, the track around the road wheels and these go around the curves. Next we get into some of the larger pieces, so this is the side of the hull here, you can see where the road wheels will affix, and then these are all various small pieces, so you've got pipe work, you've got some of the suspension, there's the actual springs for the suspension, idler wheels, various bits and pieces to stick on, so there's over 300 parts, so there's quite a lot of pieces involved in this kit, but it all looks very, very good quality, plenty of detailed, plastic feels nice and sturdy, not too bitty. And then the last sprue contains all the big pieces. So you get the bottom plate. You can see here, hopefully, some of the detail involved of the escape patches. Obviously, you won't really see much of this, but it's good that they've included it. Some of the weld lines as well, which is quite good. Stern plate, there's the top of the turret. There's the barrel, bottom of the turret. I think that's the stern plate. On the tow rope, you can either have it... Ooh, uh, the, use the plastic one or use the new rope one, uh, sorry, the string provided, so that's quite good. So here's a close-up of some of the detail of the stern, oh, sorry, the bottom of the hull in particular. So you can see the seam lines and the weld lines they put in and a couple of escape hatches as well. It's a bit of a shame really because the only place I can see that you've got weld lines is on the bottom of the hull, which you probably won't see that much. Let's move up onto the turret. Oh, sorry, the main hull itself. Oh, there's a seam line, a weld line rather. You can see that there, so that is quite encouraging. Yeah, as I say, the plastic looks very high quality. I haven't seen any pot marks yet that need filling. It all looks very, very good quality, but it's a brand new kit, so you would hope you wouldn't get too much like that anyway. Overall, very impressed. The stern plate in particular looks really, really good. Obviously, there's lots of bits and pieces need to be stuck on there. You can see some more of the um, wild lines on there as well, actually, so that's good. So you can imagine once this is all built and weathered and washed up, we'll have plenty of opportunity for pin wash on this, and there's definitely plenty of things for it to stick to. So overall then, I'm really, really impressed by the Zvezda T34 Mark 76. It's going to be a really fun kit to build. I think of the two colour options, the one I'm leaning towards the most at the moment is probably the snowy white version, actually, because I think you don't see many of those, especially um, this day. Most of the tanks I've built previously are all uh, desert colour, so there'll be quite a nice, nice different colour version. So thank you for watching. Thanks again for Scale Mafia for sending me out this kit to review. Um, so if you have like to stay up to date with more reviews from Scale Mafia and, and the channel overall, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.